All right, in this video, I'm going to go over the Teespring settings and show you how to set those up. So over here on the front page of the Merch Titans app, you'll see Teespring, so click there. And Teespring is actually fairly simple. So as of right now, they only have two different um, sections for your title and your description, that's it. There's no tags. You can add tags, but you have to go in after you upload a product and then edit it, and then you can add it which we may look at adding an option inside of Merch Titans Automation that'll do that for you, but that is not currently done. Now, so you do have the title here and the description column, and then you'll select the colors you want, and you can select more than one, but with, with uh, like most products, I recommend you don't select any more than three or four. Keep it, keep it numbered or limited. So again, I'm gonna go with the black, and I'm gonna uncheck all. You definitely do not wanna check everything here. It's a ton of products. And it seems to bog down when you're submitting the product. It seems to bog the servers down a little bit. So you got the classic tea, comfort tea, premium tea, tri blend tea. And I'm going to go with the women's teas. That's a lot of options already. And then maybe maybe the uh, pullover hoodie. And uh, the way our app works is we upload to the classic tea no matter what. That's the base product we use because you have to have one product that you upload your designs to. Uh, and then you can add additional products. So we always use the classic T, so I always recommend to keep that enabled. And then down here at the bottom, you have the price for the United US dollars and for the Euro. So I recommend you put the price in here. And this isn't profit, this is the actual price of the classic T-shirt. So I recommend you base that around 20 to 25. So I'll go 22 here and then 20 on the Euro. Um, and again, all the other products will adjust the price accordingly based on what you put in here. So. That's it for Teespring. You see all the settings are done. Uh, everything looks good. So we go to back to Merch Titans here and then click start. And then we'll wait for that to load up so we can log in. Is not my password. And once you log in, it will go over to the upload page. Again, it uses that basic classic T to start. And I'll let you just watch it happen. You see the bar up here that the, it's uploading your art artwork. It should go adjust the pricing and colors, of course. And now it'll go through and select all the styles that you selected in the app. input the uh, title here and then the description and then it'll submit it and that's how T or that's how Teespring works and then it'll loop around to the spreadsheet and go to the next product and it usually takes a little bit of time here But just like that, now it'll, now it'll loop around and go to the next product and continue on until your spreadsheet's done or you hit the max upload that you set. And I do believe that new accounts on Teespring have a 50 cap per day, so you can upload 50 designs per day. Anyway, that's the uh, Teespring settings. That's how it works. Uh, I'll see you in the next video where we talk about Zazzle and how to set up the settings there.